Why hello there, we are now going to discuss applications of normal distributions. So what's the difference between a standard normal distribution and a normal distribution? Well, if you take a non-standard normal distribution with mean mu, standard deviation sigma, and you apply the z-score formula to every single data value, the z-score formula is x minus mu over sigma, then everything is converted to z-scores, and that's where standard normal distribution comes into play. And a standard normal distribution has always has a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1. So in other words, the standard, standard normal distribution comes from applying the z-score formulas to data values that are normally distributed. So standard normal means mean of 0, standard deviation of 1. So when finding areas with a non-standard normal distribution, you have a couple options. First, you convert the value of interest, the data value of interest, to a z-score and use standard normal probability tables to find those, that specific probability associated with that z-score or data value. That's a lot of work, kind of. Method two, do not convert the value to a z-score. Instead, Use technology, in this case Google Sheets, with the given mean and standard deviation of the normal distribution. So instead of a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1, they will give us a specific mean and a specific standard deviation in the question. So we just need to take note of those two numbers. So a roller coaster, who loves roller coasters, yeehaw. A roller coaster has a requirement that people must be at least 55 inches tall. Given that people have normally distributed heights with a mean of 57.1 inches and a standard deviation of 2.1 inches, find the percentage, percentage of people who satisfy that height requirement. So I have my picture here, and using a data value, we're going to find area under the curve. So your mean always goes in the middle. In this context of this question, the mean is 57.1. And I want to find the percentage of people who satisfy the height requirement. Well, who satisfies the height requirement? Anyone that is at least 55 inches tall. So let me plot 55. Obviously, it's going to be lower than 57.1, so it's to the left of it and the probability that a person is more than 55 inches tall or at least 55 inches tall is going to be represented by the area to the right of 55. <clears throat> so we are finding the probability that some person's height, a data value, it's not a z-score in this case, so I just used the arbitrary letter x, is greater than or greater than or equal to, it doesn't matter which one you pick, as long as you say 55 afterwards. <clears throat> so in Google Sheets, you need to make a note of what is the mean, what is the standard deviation, what is my lower bound, and what is my upper bound of my shaded region. So the mean is actually 57.1, and sigma, the standard deviation, is 2.1. My lower bound's 55, and my upper bound, technically it's infinity, because the x-axis goes on forever, but you just use 999, 999. This is to ensure we get the most accurate answer possible. So the Google Sheets document, we type in four numbers. Where do we go in the Google Sheets document? Well, we go to the Compute tab and the Normal Region. We will now type in what is mu, so enter whatever mu is, 57.1, enter, type in sigma, your standard deviation, 2.1, enter, lower bound was 55, and upper bound is 6 nines. And the probability is 0 .8413, 0 .8413, so you get 0 .84. The area of that region is 0.8413, but they want to know percentage. What is 0.8413 as a percentage? Well, 
the decimal to the right two spots and you actually get 84.13%. Final answer, locked in. So the picture can help you make sure you pick the appropriate lower and upper bound. Very important. In this example, we have IQ scores that are normally distributed with a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 15. What is the probability someone has a score between 78 and 110? So I'm calculating the probability that someone has a score that some data value is between 78 and 110. In my picture, my bell curve, I will put the mean right in the middle, that's 100. You need to mark 78 somewhere along this x-axis on the bottom, and then you need to mark 110 somewhere. The important thing is you're trying to find the area, the probability, between 78 and 110. So we shade that region. <clears throat> so all we have to do now is resort to our Google Sheets document. <clears throat> in the Google Sheets document, in just a moment, we will input mu, that's the mean, of 100. We will input sigma, that's the standard deviation of 15. We will input our lower bound, so 78. And then we will input our upper bound, which is 110. So we will use this in the Google Sheets document now. <clears throat> in the Google Sheets document, we go to our Compute tab, we go to the Normal region, and we start just typing away. Our mu is going to be 100, our sigma is going to be 15, our lower bound is going to be 78, and upper bound is 110. You'll notice the probability pop up, and it's 0.6763 when you round to four decimal places. You have a 2 in the fourth decimal place. Since there's a 7 in the fifth decimal place, that's 5 or more. You bump the 2 up to a 3. 0.6763. So we will make a note of this. Probability is 0.6763, and look at that, there's our answer. <clears throat> so now let's find values from known areas or probabilities. When designing aircraft cabins, how often do we da do that in our daily lives? Or I should I say, how often do we almost hit the head, our heads on airplanes in our daily lives when we're standing up in the aisle way when we're flying? What ceiling height will allow 95% of men to stand without bumping their heads? Men's heights are normally distributed with a mean of 69.5 and a standard deviation of 2.4. And they use men instead of women simply because men have a tendency on average to be taller. All right, so we have our pretty picture here. We know that the mean is 69.5. So, what ceiling height will allow 95% of men to stand without bumping their heads? Well, remember the x-axis down here represents heights. Where are the people that are going to be bumping their heads? Well, they're going to be the ones over here in the right tail. So, those are going to be the people, the tall people that are always bumping their heads. Poor folks, sorry. My goal is to find the data value that will separate the 95% that don't bump their heads with the 5% or 0 0.05 that do bump their heads. So I'm looking for this magic height. At this magic height, 95% will be able to stand without bumping their heads and then you have 5% that unfortunately will still bump their heads. So the area to the left of my data value is 0.95. <clears throat> so I'm trying to find that data value. So consulting Google Sheets, when you're finding data values from area, you obviously still write what is mu, 69.5, what is sigma, your standard deviation, 2.4, and then area to the left, which is 0.95, because you want 95% to, to not hit their head on the ceiling. So Google Sheets is going to tell us, all you have to do is type in mu, 69.5, and type in sigma, 2.4. 
And the only other thing you care about, you don't care about lower bound, upper bound, we're not calculating a probability, is your left tail area. Your left tail area is going to be 0.95. And then your data value will appear just below, 73.45. I like the round data values to two decimal places. 73.45 inches, of course. 73.45 inches. So this airline company has contracted you out and they're like, hey, we only want 5% of our customers to hit their head on the ceiling or 5% of men to hit their head on the ceiling. They're like, what height should we make our cabins? And then you spit back, hey, 73.45 inches. That's the magic number you need. They pay you lots of money. End of story. Statistics is great, isn't it? Let's do another example. IQ scores again. Yeah. IQ scores are normally distributed with a mean of 100, standard deviation of 15. What score separates 65% of the results? And my intention here, after I put my mean of 100 in the middle, is I'm looking for the data value that is has 60%, 65% of the results below it. That's what my intention was here. So I'm looking for the data value whose area to the left is what? 0.65. <clears throat> so Google Sheets. What is your mu? 100, you say. What is your sigma? We're making our list. And what is area to the left? You need area to the left to find the data value. Well, it's 0.65. You will type these three magic numbers into Google Sheets, and it will do all of the hard work for you. 115 area to the left or left-tailed area, 0 0.65. 105.78. 105.78. Two decimal places for data values. 105.78. That is the IQ score that separates 65% of the results. How about that? That's pretty cool. So thank you Google Sheets for a good time. And that's all I have for now. Thank you for watching.